Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello, everyone, getting on the call. My name is Danny Wells, and I am a regional vice president and independent consultant with Arbonne International. And I just want to give a massive, massive welcome to everybody on the call, or if you're watching the recording, a massive welcome to you. First of all, if this is the first time that you've come onto our weekly online team training at nine o'clock on a Sunday night, huge welcome to you. Massive, massive welcome. I hope you enjoy it and we'll be back next Sunday at 9 p.m. as we do this team training every Sunday night. So those of you that have already experienced our Sunday night team training, you will know we have a rotor system and um, we take it in turns to host the call and it is usually, tonight would be Fiona McCarthy's turn. However, she's actually flying right now from England over to North Carolina to spend some time with the gorgeous district manager, Krista Phillips, to help her build her business to area. So you've got me tonight. If you weren't expecting that, I'm so sorry. I hope you're not too disappointed. But I'm not training you tonight. I'm just going to go through our past week's recognition and then I'm going to pass on to our trainer tonight who is the very much loved and requested brand new area manager Carol Sutton Houghton. So before I pass over to her, I'm just going to run through our recognition for the past week. So... First of all, I'd just like to welcome our brand new independent consultants who started their business this week. So I'd like to say a massive welcome to Travis Davis. Well, welcome. You can see everybody clapping that. Massive welcome to Sue at Church. Huge welcome. A massive welcome to Brian Blackburn. A huge welcome to Marie Louise O'Neill. A huge welcome to Becky Gibson. Big welcome to Laura Green. And a big welcome to Maria Guagulio. I've probably not done that just now. I'm so sorry. Who is our first German consultant? So a massive welcome to our independent consultants this week. Okay, so next up, I'd just like to recognise our brand new district managers in qualification as of this week. So we've got district manager Angela Brunning, sponsored by National Vice President Qualification, Fiona McCarthy. A massive welcome, Angela. I've got five for a Massive welcome to Olivia Lilly, sponsored by our gorgeous district manager, Sophie alloway Reed. Baby, you're a Baby, you're my Massive congratulations to Amy Davies, sponsored by area manager, Nikki Marchant. Massive welcome to Marie Louise O'Neill, sponsored by uh, National Vice President of Qualification, Fiona McCarthy. All my life a huge welcome and well done to dis new district manager qualification, Liz Pin Elizabeth Pinto, sponsored by district manager Stacey Blackley. And a massive welcome to district manager qualification, Tara Fornilia, sponsored by district manager Stacey Blackley. Oh, well done, everybody. Okay, so district bonus. This week, we've got the gorgeous area manager, Carol Sutton Houghton, and area manager, Nikki Marchant, who have both achieved their uh, uh, district manager bonus this week. Huge well done, guys. Okay, a few dates for the diary. So every month we have our monthly region training, but every third month we all come together to do training, myself and Fiona McCarthy, all of the teams together, and that is in March, that is the third month where we all come together, and it's usually on a Monday, so it's usually the first Monday of every month, but because a few of us are in Arizona, and we're not getting back till the um, late Monday night, we're doing it on Tuesday, so it's in Melton Mowbray, it's at the Sison B Knoll, so if you can make yourself available, get transport over, sort out childcare, it's gonna be an incredible, incredible night, that's our nation training. Okay, we've got a car presentation in Oxford at the Belfry. So the gorgeous Francis Hogan has reached the third level and earned himself his Mercedes-Benz and his car presentation's this Sunday, so a week today, Sunday the 5th of March. 
Um, okay, so every year we have a team Christmas party in December and we have a summer get together in the summertime. So our summertime get together is on Saturday, the 17th of June, and it's going to be at Conkers, which is in the Derby, Nottinghamshire area. So make sure you save your date for that and tickets will go on sale for that um, in the next couple of months. I think it's going to be about 20, 25 pounds ish and that'll include food. It'll be the whole day, lots of fun. So that's going to be a really great summer get together. And then the next Leadership Academy. So last week's Leadership Academy was such a huge success. Everybody loved it and had a really, really great time. The next one's going to be in six months' time. So it's going to be on Sunday, the 2nd of July, the exact same venue. So Kettering Spa Hotel in Northampton. Now, do note that every month we do have region training, and region training would be the day after this, so Monday the 3rd of July. Now, we are totally aware of that and understand that most people are going to struggle with fitting in their business, around their main job, around their childcare, and coming to leadership on the Sunday and then region training on the Monday. So what we're going to do is we're not going to do region training on the Monday. All of the recognition that would have been done at region training will be done at the beginning of leadership. So that's Sunday the 2nd of July, and there won't be a region training in July. It'll be done at leadership instead. So I think that's all of my dates. So I'll stop the screen share. Right, so now I'm going to hand it on to our gorgeous trainer. So Carol, if you want to unmute, and I'm just going to read out your little bio. So Carol is a wife to Richard and a mum to three beautiful children, Isabella nine, Luca four, and Clara three. Carol worked for EasyJet um, for 10 years, the first five as cabin crew, and the second five as a cabin crew trainer, where she used to deliver five-week training courses to the new recruits. She then had her first child in 2007 and in 2008 set up her baby signing franchise called Tiny Talk where she currently runs five classes a week. It was Tiny Talk, it was at Tiny Talk that she met her sponsor Carlin Carpenter who introduced her to Arbonne. Carol joined in November 2015. Carol won the regional vice the regional award for top PC sponsoring in 2016. Carol is a Grow Strong graduate and has already earned level one of the AI trip to Mexico. So please welcome our speaker for today, Carol Sutton Houghton, area manager, Carol Sutton Houghton. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say just quickly, I've got a, a poorly little boy who's coughing away. So I'm, I've got the monitor on and everything, but if I dash, just talk till I come back, I'm sure I'll be fine. So I'm going to screen share. Can you hear me okay? Give me a... Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to talk about is workshops, PQVs and PCs. So, personal qualifying volume and preferred clients. So, for purpose of the training today, I call them parties. I can't help it. I just like calling them parties. But some people call them pamper evenings. Some people call them workshops. If it's nutrition, they like to call them nutrition workshops. Coffee mornings. You can call these whatever you like. But what it is, is getting a group of people together, usually between, I, I do five to six people, just a group of people together and showcasing the products. I call it a party. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is how do I get my parties booked? So loads of people um, are always talking about how do you just get the parties booked without pinning down your friends and family and, and threatening them and making them. So I heavily, heavily use Facebook as most of us do with our businesses, but I use it on my personal page. I make a point every morning and every evening when I go through the news feed of what's been happening, because I like to flick through because I like to see what's going on in everybody's lives. I always make sure I like people's posts. If I can, I comment on their posts. If it's one of someone's birthday party, I'll make a lovely comment about how lovely the party was. I just really interact with all of my um, friends. So I say friends because they're this face everyone on Facebook and I am being completely genuine I don't ever say anything I don't mean on there but instead of just going through your newsfeed and being nosy and reading what's going on in people's lives interact with them consistently and then what happens is I always say you know when it's your birthday or you post something on your personal page 
page, you'll be able to see how active you have been because suddenly you'll get loads of comments. So on my birthday this year, I think I had something like 150 comments or something, which is really, it's not normal for me, but that showed how consistently I had been, at, you know, being active on their page that then when I posted something, they suddenly started liking all of my stuff. So then what I do is I kind of build them up so that when I then privately message them and ask them if they could host a party for me, they are really friendly and willing to reply because I have been consistently showing an interest in their lives. I can just send them a message and I, what I do is I do something like this. So I say, hi Charlie, hope you are well. As you have seen, I have started a new business with Arbonne. It's a word of mouth business and I was wondering if you'd be able to help me out by hosting a party. It will take about two hours. I'll bring a bottle of Prosecco along, a few products to showcase, and you'll get to choose a free item. All you need to do is ensure that there are five to six people there. These are the list of dates I'm available. Can you help me out on any of those dates? I forgot to mention what I did was I went through the friends on Facebook and I wrote a list of who lived um, an hour away from me because I'm really happy to drive an hour in an evening to go there and come back. And then I very casually just work through their names sending messages if they reply and say oh lovely to hear from you aren't you doing well with Arbon? i'm so sorry but i'm not free in in march at all but i really do wish you lots of luck then what i do is i answer back straight away and say oh thanks for replying so quickly don't worry i've got a list list of dates for april as well and may in fact so uh, let me see if any of those suit if they then respond and say, oh, I'm busy then, then you just take the hint. But usually they will be willing and um, book a date. <coughs> Excuse me. Seven days before the party, I make sure I arrange to drop off some products. So if they are an hour away, I wouldn't make an hour drive to go and see them. I will ask them what skin type they are. So we have five skincare ranges. I will ask them to tell me which one out of those ranges they are. And then what I do is I pop a sample in the post, always along with a primer and a mascara, always, always. And that is just the price of a large letter. I post it to them and I tell them that these products are on their way. And please, as part of the deal, could you make sure you've used them before the party? It's just really important that the host has had some kind of Arbonne exposure before their party. Because as we all know, once, once you've used the products, I don't know anyone that hasn't used them and then just fallen completely in love with them. So what your host will do is they'll sit there and, and when I say, okay, let's talk about the primer, they'll, they'll suddenly go, oh my gosh, it's like amazing, I put it on my skin, and you don't have to do any advertising, they will do it all for you. So it's so, so important that they can get the products on their skin. If they do live close by, then by all means, give them a gold bag and shove everything in it. Tell them not to use anything apart from Arbonne for seven days. On the night, I never, ever arrive 20 minutes earlier than the start time. So, for example, if the, start, if the party is half past seven to half past nine, and I always say to my host, I will be there two hours maximum, that's it. And I stick to my promise. I arrive 15 minutes before because I have kept everything so simple, I don't have loads of stuff to lug in and set up. I am set up within 10 minutes. And one of my main bugs about my current job, um, which is ba tiny talk baby signing, I have uh, my X S Max is full top, like ceiling to floor of kit that five times a week I have to unload, I have to load, I have to unload, I have to load. And at the beginning, I was doing the same with Arbonne. And then suddenly one day I just stopped and thought, what? are you doing the reason why I don't want to do my one of the reasons I don't want to do my old job anymore is because I just don't want to lug about so much stuff so that's how I started to simplify the process so just 15 minutes before 20 minutes arrive some people get a bit worried because a guest might be there before you if someone arrives earlier than the start time that doesn't bother me at all because I told the host I would only get there, I would be there for two hours. I told them, I promise it won't take any more than two hours of your time. So if a guest is sat there, they can see that actually my parties don't take up your whole evening. And it's one of the things that may encourage the other guests to host a party too. So keep it simple. 
I wanted to add more photos, but I didn't have time today. So this has been a real learning curve for me. Don't get me wrong. When I started my parties, I took everything. I had about four R bun boxes. I displayed the whole nutrition range. I had everything, everything I had. I just wanted to showcase it. And I know I have two friends, specific friends who haven't joined the business because I completely put them off with the amount of products that I had. They sat there and they just said, how on earth did you buy all this stuff? And, and where do you put it? And that really was a big eye opener for me because I want people to look at this as a business and think, wow, you don't need much to do this business at all. This is really simple. And it is because we all know you don't need to buy everything to start the business. So all I display is my five skincare ranges. And in this photo, I had one out on a gold bag, so I couldn't. I have five little mirrors, five skincare ranges. I just display them wherever I, wherever I am. If it's in the lounge, I do it on the floor. I, get, I like to get the lipsticks out and the lip glosses. I then have the sea source range wash and scrub by the sink. And then as guests arrive, I take them to the sink and I say, would you like to do a, a, a sink spa? So they wash their hands and I explain all about the sea source range. And then they scrub their hands and they, it feels amazing. Pat them dry and sit down. And this is a really good icebreaker for you and your guests. I then start the party. And what I say is this evening, I want you to take away just a couple of things. So at the beginning of my parties, I set out an objective. I like people to know what they're going to take away because I am not there to sell. I'm, and this is completely genuine. I'm not a seller. I don't sell. What I really take big pride in is people leaving my parties. And so more than often, they'll, they'll you know, not whisper, but say, oh my gosh, I learned so much this evening. Thank you so much. So I say to them, I, I'm here to tell you why our products are so different to everything else on the market, what separates us from all the other brands, and how easy it is to build an online business with Arbonne. And that's how I started. I then like to go into the shock factor. So I don't talk about products for any longer than half an hour usually. The first couple of things I do is educate them about why Arbonne is so different, what Arbonne has got in their products and what we don't have in the products. So the first thing I do is the left, right, left, right game. So this is now all on Danny's Google Drive. So if anyone wants to find any of this, you just go into the pin post on the consultant page and then go into the Google Drive and then it says Carol's something and then it's all in there. So the left, right, left, right game is a really good way of telling them all about Arbonne in a really fun way. I wrap up a present and if they say left, it goes to left and if I say I go right. And in the game, it introduces mineral oil. So as most of us, all of us know, mineral oil is a byproduct of petrol. Mineral oil is so bad that it can't be put into our cars. Mineral oil is so bad, it can't be dumped on the landfills. So what petrol companies do, oil companies do, is they sell it cheaply to cosmetic companies to fill up your bottles to put on your skin. It's disgusting. It's terrible. I then show them the mineral oil sheet and i just say could you just all have a little look at this snapshot it with your phone and if there's just one thing you do this evening go home and check if your most popular or most favorite products have mineral oil in them because mineral oil is one of the biggest aging elements you could put on your skin if you have an anti-aging face cream that says it's anti-aging but you check your ingredients and it's got one of these ingredients in it it's aging you it's not anti-aging I also always use the example of my middle child who had eczema. And if anyone that's parents or anyone that's got eczema, you try everything. You just want to get rid of it. One of the things that the doctors gave us was oilatum. And oilatum is a really well-known product. So I love talking about this. So when Luca literally had open wounds all over his neck and his torso, and he used to wake up in the morning with blood-stained pajamas, um, the doctor said, bath him in this stuff, bath him in it, a couple of capsules in the bath. It makes the water all um, milky. Didn't use any soap, any shampoo, just bathed him in this stuff. When he got out, he used to always be really slippery. There'd be a big greasy residue left in the bath that you had to clean with something else afterwards. 
If you look on the back of the bottle of Oilatum, it's 70% liquid paraffin. So it's 70% mineral oil. So I was bathing my child in a byproduct of petrol that is too bad for cars. It was too bad to be dumped in landfills. So the cosmetic companies put it in a bottle for me to bathe my um, really poorly child in. The next thing we talk about after this is the Arbonize Your Home Flyer. So I have these laminated. I've got um, about 12 because I don't ever have any more than that amount of people in, in the party. I hand them out. And this is a really good way to get that one person, because there's always one at the party with their arms folded, saying, I don't use products. I'm just here for the booze and for the night out. I don't use products, so I, I'm not going to even buy anything tonight. So I give them the Alvinizer Home Flyer, and I say, just quietly in your head, look along the left-hand side column. It's not very clear on here. And just tally up, count how many products you use. And then I leave it at that, and there's silence. So... What they do is they read through it and they start to realize that they wash their hair, they use toothpaste, they use deodorant. Most people put a cream on their face, otherwise it gets a bit dry. Some people put a cream on their legs and they kind of go, oh, I use products. Actually, yeah, I do use products. And this is just to open up their eyes about it. I then say, and then sometimes people go, oh my God, I use 54, however many it is. They like to have a little laugh. Sometimes they don't. So then I go on to the next bit. So I still haven't spoken about products. I am educating them about why Arbon is so different. So we talk about the toxic burden article. So this is also on the Google Drive, or if you just Google, Google Drive is a Google Drive. If you just Google toxic burden article, this appears and it's so interesting. So I hold this up, pretend this is it. And I say, did you know the average lady puts 515 chemicals on her face every day. And I just let that sink in a little bit. I, I just talk about a few of the side effects. So one of the things, not about necessarily your face, but there's been big um, press coverage about deodorants and the parabens and the aluminium that is in a deodorant is linked to the cancers that the tissue, the cancers that are found in breast cancer. There's so many products that actually now it's proving that causes hormonal disruption, all sorts of different things. So it just opens up your eyes to what are you putting on your skin and how good is it for you? <clears throat> I then go on, sorry, I then go on to the products. So what I do is I always talk about the RE9 range because it's our flagship range. I pass it around. I let them have a smell. I let them have a sniff. They always, I um, recommend to put it on one hand and as they keep loading the products onto one hand, compare them and they all see straight away that one hand looks amazing compared to the other. Always check that if anyone's allergic to oranges, if the first time last night someone was allergic to oranges so they couldn't have the RE9. <coughs> Excuse me. After I've done all that, I talk about the Genius Pads. So before I talk about the Genius Pads, I say... I'm going to show you a video. So I always have an iPad or the host has an iPad. If you just Google genius pads and then press videos, you'll see a video up here with a lady with two hands. I don't think this is going to work. So I might have to come out of this and then um, try. Carol, we can I'm hear it, but we can't see it. Story of using this amazing product, the Genius Carol. Pads. And my story goes. It's a pad that you use on your skin at the end of the Carol, day. Carol, can you hear me? Yeah. How about now? Yeah, I can see it now. And I really wanted to see the results and to see if there was any difference. Well, after two or three months, I could not believe the difference in my left and my right hand. But today, I'm going to show you the results that I've gotten after one year of using the Genius Resurfacing Pads on my left hand once or twice a week. So these are both my hands. This is my right hand that has not received any of the, sorry, any of the Genius. Very crepey, very dry, lots of age spots, not um, 
not too happy with that hand. This hand has gotten a genius. And you can see how quickly my skin bounces back. The skin is so smooth, so soft. A lot of my age spots are starting to disappear and I'm really excited. So I just wanted to share that information with you. So that's all we need to do with that one. Okay. Now I need to share screen again. Hang on. Can you all hear me okay still? Yeah. yeah. So always, always, when I show that video, I don't have to say hardly anything about else about the Genius Pads. And usually I, some, at least one person will buy the Genius Pads at the party after that. They're just amazing. I then talk about my five favorite products. So um, my favorite products are the Setting Pretty Powder. I always do the two line test, show them if you rub one line, it doesn't come off, and if you rub the other, it, it does. I talk about the primer, how it won um, the Beauty with Benefits Award. It came first, and then Smashbox came second, and MAC came third. And I always I have to say that about three times, because it bugs me how MAC is so bang on trend, and actually it's rubbish. So I always go on again, and Argonne came first, Smashbox second, and then MAC was third. So that's where Argonne sits with MAC. The foundation has Optilite technology in it, so I never used to ever do selfies. And since switching to Arbonne and their foundation, I do take pictures and think, oh, I look all right. And, and it, I just feel much better. It just gives this flawless canvas appearance. Simon Cowell uses it on all of his shows with the contestants and products. The mascara has pea protein in it, so it's like a treatment for your lashes. It's absolutely beautiful. And the hand cream, I always do the hand cream test. So I put a little dot on everybody's hand and we all laugh and I say, don't touch the cream, don't touch the cream. And then I explain about the fresh cell technology. So FC5 stands for fresh cell and then there are five key ingredients. I talk about how cells are encapsulated. So as an example, an egg is laid, it goes down a conveyor belt, they put it in a box. The box goes onto the van, the van goes to Morrison's, gets put on the shelf. We take it off the shelf, we take it home. The cells are intact until we crack the egg. This is the same with the fresh cell technology. If you sniff the cream, it smells like whatever it smells like. Then when you rub the cream and sniff again, it smells completely different because you've just broken the cells. You've, 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 and um, that's really amazing. Then I close the presentation part. So I always say there are three ways to shop. You can shop full SRP, or if you're thinking of buying three or four products this evening, then it would be very beneficial to you to sign up as a preferred client and you will save money and receive a free gift. And then the third way would be to become a consultant and you get 35% off. I have clipboards already with an order form and a pen. I hand them out. I then hand out a catalogue each and I say, always, always say, please everybody fill in your name, your email and your phone number. And then what I would love to do with you all this evening is colour match your skin. I have all my foundation colours here. So it's a brilliant opportunity to colour match your skin. Then you can jot down what colour you are on your order form. I'll keep it on file. And then the next time you have a birthday, a Christmas, or when your foundation runs out, you know what color you are. And by doing this, if there is anybody that sat there that doesn't have any money, and, and by that point, they are all wanting to buy the whole catalog, because why wouldn't they? Because Arbonne is amazing, but some people can't, and that's completely understandable. So if you can include them in the, in the after bit, and they come up and say, oh, yeah, brilliant. Let me, color, you know, can you see what color I am? And I'll keep it on file and then I'll contact you. It does, they don't sit there feeling rubbish that they can't buy anything. I then always, always, always <coughs> follow a two, two, two system. So two days after I order, after I order, two days after they order, so I put the orders through, I send them a text message and I say, your order should be on the way soon. Will you please let me know when it arrives? And then two weeks afterwards, I send them a message and I say, how are you getting on with the products? And then two months afterwards, I send them a message as blunt as this. Hello, Danny, how have you been getting on with your products? They must, some of them must be running out now. Do you, need to, do you need to reorder anything? And I religiously follow that rule. And 
my method is writing it in the diary. It's as simple as that. I forgot to say, the morning after the party, I always text every single guest and I have their phone number because I ask them to write it on the order form. And I text them and I say, lovely to meet you last night. Here is the link to my Facebook business page. Here is the link to the virtual catalogue. If you ever have any questions or if you want to add anything to your order, um, let me know by five o'clock today. And after handing out the, the clipboards, I say, I'm going to be here till half past nine. At half past nine, I will be packing up my bits and I need to go. So if anybody wants to talk to me or has any questions, please come and see me. And, that, and then I am gone. Half past nine, I pack up my stuff and I go because I promised the host I would only be there two hours. And I want everybody to see that I'm not there the whole evening. And if they potentially ever wanted to host, that it's really easy. So that's the party bit kind of over with. And the next two little bits I'm going to talk about is the first one is PQV, so personal qualifying volume. So um, I committed to myself when I started Arbonne and when I promoted to district manager that I would do my 2,500 building block myself. I was a team of one for quite a long time. And so that's what I just did. And I still religiously, I'm not happy until my dashboard says 2,500 PQV personal. That means I have, have um, the, um, that QV. The way I do it is through parties and I'm always booking a month or two in advance, which is, which is really important. Don't ever get to the end of the month and then like today is the, I don't even know what day it is, the end of the month. Don't ever get to the end of the month and then think, okay, I'm going to start filling up March now. March should be full. You need to be working on April. So always a month in advance. I do online parties, which are really successful if you do them near payday. So what I do is uh, at the beginning of the month, people that in the past have expressed an interest in Arbonne but haven't bought anything, I will write a list of names of people that I'm going to invite to my online party. But I don't tell them that I'm going to invite them to my online party. I then contact them and say something like, I'm building up my reviews on my business page. I would love it if you could just sample a few products and then um, rate my stars on my business page. Everybody loves a freebie, so they always say yes. I post out the product in the post and leave it at that. Then, um, three days before my online party, I invite them to my party. So most people that come to my online parties have tried the products. I then contact my Facebook army, and I love calling them my Facebook army. So this is a group of friends who have all used Arbonne or their preferred clients of mine that are really good friends. And I say, okay, online party is this Sunday, eight o'clock. If you're just sat at home, could you please make sure you're on and anything I post, give your personal opinion, anything that you like, please like it, just make it interactive. So when people see other people interacting, they think, oh, and they start interacting and it just gets, gets the momentum going. I always say to them, I always say to them that you, that was, I always say to them, you've got th uh, 48 or 72 hours to browse and then um, payment needs to be paid by payday, so whenever payday is. <coughs> whenever I drop off a sample or gold bag, I always put this leaflet in it. So I've got these printed in, I don't know what size is, A5? I don't know, little ones. And I always, always, with any sample, put this leaflet in. Because for me, you don't need to say anything else. This leaflet says it all. You don't need to explain what Arbonne is because it says it all there. So I always put this leaflet in. The last thing is preferred clients. So as Danny mentioned, I won the award for signing up the most preferred clients with 120 pound minimum spend and more in 2016. So I think my latest count was I've got something like nearly 52 preferred clients. And these clients, I'd say three quarters of them are consistently reordering now. There's no magic answer to how I've done it. And all I can do is just share what I do at parties. So I do really believe that because I am always 
so passionate about telling people why Arbonne is so different, what is not in our Arbonne products, that I think anyone that listens to our presentation would be completely crazy to then not want to use Arbonne. Um, at a party, if I always explain the preferred client what it is, and then if anyone is reaching about £100, I will then sit down with them and I map out on paper the full SRP price, the preferred client price and how they save money, and the preferred client price, if they just get one more product in and get it over £120, they're going to get a free product, which is saving. They're going to get 20% off from now for the rest of the year that is saving. And they'd be crazy not to save. Who doesn't want to save? Um, and that's all I really do. With the preferred clients, I always send out a birthday card on their birthday. I send them a Christmas card at Christmas. I love to doing that. I put in a little organza bag with a little primer or mascara. And I do my two, two and two method. So I'm always in contact with my preferred clients. I don't just see them sign up and then think, oh, they're going to reorder because they won't. You need to be in contact with them all the time and not by a big general email because I get emails like that from other companies and I don't read them. It has to be personal, personally message them or find them if you want to. I do get a lot of referrals from my PCs. So it just proves that treating them nicely. And I like to see myself as a bespoke independent consultant. You know, you don't get the service that we offer anywhere else. And so many people don't want to go to the shops anymore. They want to shop online. And for someone to offer to come to your house with a big makeup case and color match you is just amazing. So um, build up a reputation and you will get referrals from them. And that's all I need to say. Thank you very much for listening. As always, Carol, that was fabulous. You are a beautiful trainer. You explain things so well. I think all of the information that you give is so vital for all of us. But how you deliver it is in such an interesting way that people are engaged the whole time. People are interested. I've made a ton of notes, even though I've heard that last week at Leadership Academy. It's quite funny, actually, because once you did it, I was like, oh, I really like, want to go back and hear Carol's training again. And then Fiona said she was going to ask you to train. So I've took loads of notes and I can't wait to implement all of that when I launch Laura this week. Were you going to say something? No, no, no. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Carol. And thank you so much, everybody. I hope everybody got a lot from that. And like Carol said, if you want to find those documents, um, I put all of Carol's documents into the Google Drive. So all you need to do to access the Google Drive is go into the Do More page, go into that uh, Facebook page called the Do More, Be More, Have More page. And there's like something called a pinned post at the top. So you just click on the pin post, which is always at the top, no matter what. It's always at the top. Pin post, click onto that. And if you just scroll down a little bit, it will say the Google Drive. And if you click into that, it's got, like Carol said, a folder that says something like Carol's folder or Carol's yeah, documents. It's, yeah, it's pretty obvious when you get into it, I just can't remember what it's called. It's all in there. Um, and Carol sent me some other update documents. I'm going to add them in tomorrow as well. So just hold fire to print stuff off until tomorrow when it's all sorted and all of the newer documents that she sent me in there I'll get that done tomorrow but for now Carol thank you so much thank, thank you, everybody you for coming online tonight it's been a really really great evening fab trainings as always and I can't wait to see you all next Sunday next Sunday zoom is actually going to be in Arizona so a few of us are in Arizona and we're going to be telling you as guys that are in Arizona we're going to be telling you about what it's like and what you can do to be in Arizona next year so thank you so much for, for tonight and have a great rest of your week everybody Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. And I know she'll be the death of me. I leave you both in love. And she'll always get the best of me. The worst is yet to come. But I leave for both the beautiful to stay forever young. This I know. This I know. She told me.